Now in this section, we'll talk about a BGP feature called BGP route dampening. Now BGP route dampening is a feature which is going to remove the flapping routes instead of getting being advertised. Now, what is the meaning of flapping routes? Flapping routes, nothing but the instable routes. Generally, uh, let's take an example here. You got some networks. Let's try to understand first uh, what are the reasons and why we need to uh, do this exactly. Now, this router is uh, belonging to some A's and these routers belong to different autonomous system number. Now, it is, it is advertising some network, let's say 11.001 network is getting advertised from this side. Now, due to some network instability, this network is getting advertised as well as again it is withdrawn, which means it's it's advertised, it's going up and down the interface, and based on the status of that interface going up and down, now this route is getting advertised at the same time it's not getting advertised after some time. So we call this type of links or this type of routes as flapping routes. Now this is generally happens because of net network instability or uh, you may have some configuration errors or it may be some hardware errors which are going to cause the reachability information for any specific network is advertised and withdrawn. So this this kind of uh, feature, this kind of uh, behavior we call as flapping and the prefix flapping is something very dangerous in the BGP generally uh, for network instability because it causes the networks to withdraw withdraw the route from the BGP if the network is not advertised, it's going to withdraw it and it's going to again recal recalculate the BGP uh, path selection process. Let's say after some time again this route comes again and getting advertised and now the BGP has to recalculate the process again and again. So it's going to recalculate the same BGP process multiple times because the routes will be sometimes are getting advertised and sometimes not getting advertised. Now, unstable network can cause a BGP route to flap, which can cause a BGP routes in the network to constantly reconverge. So when it is doing that reconvergence, it's going to increase the processing utilization on the router. So BGP itself is a process intensive router. When you have this kind of behavior, it's going to recalculate or reconverge, recalculate, and which is going to increase your processing utilization. It's going to waste your valuable CPU cycles and cause severe problems in the network. Now the best practice to overcome this, we have two possible solutions. If you remember, we discussed something called summarization. Now the summarization is one of the most uh, with, uh, way of, it's a, one of the method which can be used in your IGP protocols as well as you can do it in BGP. What we can do is we can summarize the contiguous routes. Let's say I'm going to say 11.001, 11.0.1.1, 2.1, 3.1. Instead of advertising all these routes as individual routes, we are going to advertise it as summarized routes. Now the advantage here is even if any one of the link flaps, let's say if the link goes down, now this router is not going to send any incremental or trigger updates because as long as all the networks goes down inside that summarization, it's not going to advertise uh, any update on that because if this link fails, still there won't be any any updates sent on the other end. So this is one method, but in BGP we also have something called BGP dampening feature. Now what we can do is in the dampening, what we are doing is whichever the route, let's say if any specific link flaps, if it goes down. Now the, our router or whatever the router is receiving, what we can do is we can apply some penalty on that and the default penalty will be 1000. So which means it's going to apply some penalty on that route and if that penalty exceeds the maximum limit, let's say the default limit is 2000, the maximum limit of penalty. So if it exceeds this number, it is going to mark this route is not advertised to any of the other neighbors so which means it's going to mark this route as dampened that's what we call as dampened means it's an instable route and it's not going to advertise that route now if the link is continuously flapping this value uh, it automatically increments so it's going to increment to 3000 maybe 4000 maybe 5000 like that so once it uh, once it goes dampened it's not being advertised so which means it's a, a flapping route now let's say if that link becomes stable, if that link becomes stable after some time, 
maybe this link is not stable now automatically periodically based on the algorithm process decaying algorithm process it's going to reduce this number and once this numbers reduces to less than reuse time now here I'll come to the timers the default reuse time is 750 now once it comes less than 750 automatically now this route will be reusable which means this route will be again advertised so this is something what dampening is going to do and this dampening feature is applied for only all of your ebgp routes the routes which are learned from ebgp now it's not going to apply the dampening for the routes which are learned from internal bgp neighbor now this is one important thing we need to keep in mind when we are practically verifying this let's see uh, let's get into some more detail here like i said it is designed to reduce the processing utilization or the processing load which is generally caused by unstable routes now each time a bgp ebgp route flaps it's going to add the penalty of 1000 points and this cannot be changed but we can change the other timers let me explain you some of the four parameters which we can change now to enable BGP dampening with the default values we can just go to router BGP 500 AS number and we just need to give this command inside the router mode called BGP dampening that's it now once we enable this the BGP dampening is going to apply for all the routes all the eBGP routes I can say all the routes learned from external BGP neighbor but if you want you can also apply the dampening feature only for specific routes by creating an ACL which is going to match the networks just like we did in our BGP route filtering or any any filtering method or weight attributes and then we had to create a route map and then we can say set dampening feature and that is going to apply only for the routes which are defined inside that ACL now there are four different parameters which are used inside this dampening we have something called suppress time this first one this is the first one now this suppress is actually it defines at what value the route has to be suppressed suppress means removed or not getting advertised when it should apply the dampening so the route has to be dampened and the default is 2000 which means if the penalty exceeds 2000 this particular route will be marked as dampened and it's no more advertised to any of the uh, any of the BGP neighbor it can be internal or external so that is what suppress value and the default is 2000 and then there is something called reuse now reuse is going to define let's say if a specific route is dampened let's say I got 11 dot network this route is dampened which means it's no more advertised to the neighbor the reason is that this route has exceeded that suppress time suppress points 2000 now now this route is stable now now when it is stable now based on the algorithm for every uh, it's going to automatically reduce this time reduce these points and when it reaches 750 or less than that now this route is reusable reusable means it can be advertised now it can uh, which which confirm that this route is stable if it is not stable then automatically this sub, the suppress points will go on increase now once it is stable it falls below this value it is re-advertised we can say that is what reuse time or reuse value which is going to define when the dampened route can be reused the default is 750 now we can change these values by using the commands so I'll come to that commands anyway and now you can see the maximum suppress time now the maximum suppress time is let's say this 11 dot network is dampened now it's, it's still unstable and it is increasing the points uh, to 2000, 3000, 4000 like that and how long this route will be in the dampening state it will be default 4 times of your half time I'll come to this half time 60 minutes which means this route will be dampened for more maximum of 60 minutes and after that it will be it will start the recalculation again which means now after that it will try to advertise after 60 minutes it will try to advertise this route and if this again it is flapping and automatically it will count from the beginning so maximum 60 minutes will be the default suppress time of any specific route and we have something called half time now inside this half time half time is default is 15 minutes 
Now, by default, let's say if the penalty is 3000, now once it reaches the half time, now it automatically based on the algorithm, it will reduce. By the, let's say it is 4000 and reduce to 3000 after a few seconds, after maybe some 15 20 seconds. Now, of once it reaches the half time, half time means once it reaches 15 minutes after the route is dampened, automatically whatever the penalty it is having after 15 minutes after the half time it will be reduced to 50 percent which means the penalty will be reduced to 1500 automatically from 3000 after after reaching that half time now which means if still the link is flapping it will again increase to 2000 it will increase to 3000 it will go on increasing now if it is not flapping in that case it has a better chance to get reused now this using this half time it's going to ensure that your dampening link comes up a little bit sooner because it's going to reduce and make it into half this is what half time and the default half time will be 15 minutes and maximum suppress time will be 60 minutes always it is four times of the default half time and this is the maximum suppress points and what is the reuse points reuse means uh, when it can be reused and then finally you also have a route map where you can damp into the specific routes okay now to verify this to implement you need to just simply say bgp dampening inside the router mode and to verify this we can use a command called show ip bgp dampening parameters now this is output which is the default output whenever you enable dampening you will see something like this so this is your half time which we discussed so dampening is your half time 15 minutes and this is your maximum suppress time and then this is your reuse time 750 and 2000 is your my uh, suppress points it can use and here also you can see the half time decay time and then maximum suppress penalty it is in 1200 and the maximum suppress time and then suppress penalty and reuse penalty these are all values now, even if you want we can modify these values by using the command BGP dampening inside the router mode and we can use question marks to, to see the possible options here and we can also uh, do it for specific routes by using a route map so more in detail regarding the lab and verifications we'll see in our next session